as I said in the last video, the finish was something left to be desired of. So I took out some 1500 grit and started sanding the clear coat down to get it smooth and shiny as I want it to be. Now just a side note, I got a question from one of my fans asking if I had a European grit or a US grit. Now I didn't even know there was such a thing. Uh, turns out I'm using a European grit and the way uh, the grit is determined is a square centimeter and how much grit is in it. And I guess in the US it's a square inch and how much grit is in it. So 1500 grit in Europe is about 4500 grit in US, something like that. Not really sure, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments and let's just move on with the video. So I sanded the roof down and I still see some spots with a bit of orange peel so I go over it again until they are all gone and then just move on to the second grit which is 2000 grit and do exactly the same thing as with the 1500. Just clean it up, check it over, if you're happy move on to the next grit which in my case turned out to be 3000 grit and that's pretty much it. You could go all the way up to a 12,000 grit, but I don't really see the point in it as the finish after I've done the machine polish, which is gonna be next, is pretty much perfect in my eye. With all the hand sanding out of the way and the entire body up to 3000 grit, I moved on to the polishing machine. It's a Proxon a rotary tool with a Proxon polishing bit. It's a cotton bit with uh, some cotton strings on it and it uh, rotates which makes things shiny. So I applied some Meguiar's scratch axe to the surface and then uh, applied the polishing wheel at the lowest speed possible. I think on the machine I have it's about a thousand. If you can go lower it's better but on my machine it can't and it worked out the way it did pretty well so I'm happy with it. Just go over the surface, don't stay in one spot too long and be careful with the edges not having the wheel catch it. Uh, also if you stay in one place too long it could heat up melt the paint and burn through it. So just go over it gently and don't stay in one spot too long.
that first round of scratch X, the finish is already a load better than it was before and a lot of the shine came back. Now I decided to go over it once more, uh, the same method I used before, but then I decided to prime the pad as it's so called. Uh, basically what you do is you just put some of the polish or the scratch X into the polishing wheel, uh, priming it, making it ready for surface and not having everything splatter around. Now, of course, the idiot I am, I used way too much, so there are loads of white spatters all over the room now, and some on my face. So, moving on with that, just gently apply a small amount of the polish or scratch X to the pad, and just go over the surface once more, maybe even a third time until you're satisfied. So after this second application I was pretty satisfied with what the Scratch X did and was sure that it didn't uh, even matter if I applied it a third time. So I just moved on to the fine polish, again priming the pad and then just going over the surface once more the same way I did before, not staying in one spot too long as it could heat up and melt the paint and ruin the entire finish and being careful with the edges. That's pretty much it for the polishing with the machine. Just wipe the excess material off and check out that shine and then move on to the final and third stage which is the wax. I decided to go with the Meguiar's uh, Carnuba wax. It's a liquid wax and it gives a really nice shine to the model. It also helps prevent some fingerprints and makes it a lot easier to wipe those off with the finished model. Basically what you do is you just take a small amount of the wax, apply it in a circular motion, applying a small amount of pressure and leaving a thin film. Let that dry for about 5 minutes until it turns white and hazy and then just wipe it off and clean it up and enjoy the shine. It's as simple as that. Now just to sum it up once more, this is what I started with, a really orange peely paint. I gridded it down with 1500, then added a 2000 grit, went over to a 3000 grit and then just started polishing with the Scratch X, the fine polish 
and the wax turning it out into this finished product. 